Good morning, uh, Jim Barrett from RJO Futures, Friday morning, October 26th. Uh, notes and bonds uh, started the day higher. Uh, note range, 24 hour note range so far, 132.5, 132.16. Uh, 131.24 should sound familiar. This is a range we've uh, been knocking around in for for days, if not weeks. The yield, uh, uh, the 185 yield, tough, uh, uh, tough to breach. There's a lot of support in the notes, uh, 131.5 to 131.24. Why? Well, all the issues that cause the uh, uh, the kind of uh, uh, risk off our are basically still there. I mean, the euro, here we are two years into this, the euro is still there, but the issues are all out there. I mean, uh, the fiscal cliff issue is still out there. Election's close, uh, nothing's going to be done right away, and even after the election, it's going to be tough to figure all this out. So, uh, uh, you know, there will, there, there will be a, a safety bid to the notes uh, at that 185 area, it looks like, uh, uh, going forward. Uh, uh, however, the stock market is recovering this morning on a GDP report that was slightly better than, uh, ever so slightly better than expected. So the notes and bonds are both off their highs. There is one more major report in a few minutes. The uh, 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 Michigan Consumer Confidence will be out. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, however, I mean, this, this long running range uh, that we have in the notes and bonds is, is simply just uh, here to stay until. Uh, well, one day, and it may be a long time off, there's more clarity on the uh, uh, on uh, European issues and, uh, of course, the, uh, the U.S. fiscal issues. Uh, we'll see, but it looks like we got to wait for all this. Anyways, that can be reached at 800-500-2461 to discuss any futures market. Remember, there's a risk of loss in futures trading, and good luck uh, with this storm, everybody in the East Coast. I hope it doesn't cause any problems. Thank you. <laughs>